but from a team that's been hot to a player who's just been straight up on fire. Like this is oh, yeah. like those old NBA jam. He'd be flaming, you know, just unstoppable, hitting every <laughs> every shot. I said, uh, let me pull it up because I think it was. I don't want to get it wrong. Yeah, his last ten games, Steph Curry. What is happening here? He's averaging forty-one Dude. points a game in his last ten games. <laughs> I don't know of any player that's done that ever, aside from, like, Wilt Chamberlain, right? Yeah, like, yeah. that is absolutely, in this era of basketball, that is absolutely insane. Like, that, that is unprecedented. We will probably never see it again. No. Um, the only guy that I would say would ever do that is James Harden on the Rockets, but now James Harden mm. isn't on the Rockets. So it's right, like, right. it is Steph's show, man. Yeah, so, I mean, the Warriors, they're 29 and 29, so they're, they're not... Like, we're used to, lately anyways, the Warriors being, like, the cream of the crop way up there. Right. They've, of course, lost tons of players over the last few years. They're not the same. But Steph Curry does not seem to be slowing down. And, I mean, you know, he's 50% from three-point. Like, we know he's a gifted shooter, but that's right. so ridiculous. Like, over half that the span? time. Yeah. yeah, over that span, he's 50%. It's crazy. That's, yeah. So, I mean, what what has been happening, Jack? How has he stepped up? What's what's been facilitating his rise to just being an unstoppable person other than he's Steph Curry? Yeah. Other than being Steph Curry. Yeah. yeah, right. So, I mean, I there are a lot of guys where you can go in and say like for example, if Kemba's hot, right? You could say, "Oh, mm-hmm. Kemba just had a bunch of good matchups. He had some poor defensive point guards and he was able to mm-hmm. shoot the lights out over him." Steph has played against dudes who are elite, and he goes up against dudes that are elite, and he just, it doesn't matter, man. Mm-hmm. He is unconscious right now shooting the ball. Like, he, he could pull up from half court and drain a three. Uh, mm-hmm. I turned the game on last night, man, and he just, just out of curiosity, because I knew, yeah. you know, we everyone knows what he's doing who follows the NBA right now. Mm-hmm. And he, like, literally would just take two slow go and pull up and fall, like, like all net it was insane Mm -hmm. um and it just it's just happened that way for the last 10 games i think i really think it comes down to the facilitation of the offense though i think steve kerr is just kind of letting their ball run through steph steve kerr is getting his usage up right he steve is just like letting the offense run through steph whereas Mm -hmm. he was trying to get other guys involved before like some of the big guys trying to get Mm -hmm. james wiseman involved because he was the second overall pick right so you're trying to get everybody involved, and then there gets to a point where it's like, you know, just give the ball to Steph, man. He's going to shoot the lights out anyway. But mm-hmm. recently, it's been historic. Yeah. No, no doubt. And I think it's it's so interesting with basketball where really one player can just take over the game, and he's doing it for a prolonged stretch. I mean, the Warriors need it right now. Like we said, they're, they're yeah. 29 and 29. Um, should have pulled up the Western Conference standings. <laughs> Idiot. They're pretty far down there, I'll tell you that. They're yeah, probably, yeah. like, hovering around, like, 11 to 8 at best, I would guess. Yeah, so they are the ninth team. Yeah, in the South. Okay, yeah. We'll see, I guess. I mean, so, yeah, they're ninth, um, as we said. They're not in a great position. Do you think Steph can continue this production and lead the Warriors into the playoffs? Again, it feels so weird to be talking about the Warriors being like mediocre too bad. But I know. Here we are. That, especially at the beginning of the season, like they were a joke, you know? Like you mm-hmm. watched them go up against the Lakers and they were down like 50 at one point or something stupid like yeah. that. So now I know it's it's painful, you know? Because yeah. the, the Warriors of like five years ago would like cringe at that. Um, right. But now, I mean... I th- don't get me wrong. I think Steph is prolific. Um, I think, and you know, I'm actually, I'm second guessing myself as we're saying this, just because I really don't know if he can be stopped. I think he is an elite shooter. Um, I, I mean, it really, it really feels like he's on something that you are going to have to essentially like hurt him to stop him, which obviously <laughs> right, yeah. we don't condone. Don't get me wrong. No, no, of course, but, like he's 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 absolutely crushing it right now. And he mm-hmm. if he can keep this mentality, whatever he's doing up, uh, that'd be insane. But I at the same time, I don't think fifty percent from three is sustainable. I don't think probably not. you know, I don't think even forty points a game is sustainable mm-hmm. long term. Um, because they're even even though they are a bunch of scrubs that are alive on the lawyers right now. Um, the Warriors, rather. Um, it, May as like, well be a bunch of lawyers. At, at this point, it's probably similar career progression for a lot of mm-hmm. these dudes. Um, but now it's, I don't know, man. It seems like 
it seems like this is going to die out eventually and the Warriors are going to go back to being out of the playoffs or fighting for a play-in game, you know? Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll definitely be watching it as it happens. But for now, we're just enjoying the show. and Enjoy the ride, yeah. yeah. All the memes and fun stuff, like, on Twitter. <laughs> and, hey, we'll, we'll see what happens. But other than that, hey, Jack, thank you so much for coming on, of course. Um, if you like Jack, where can they find you online? Brian. Yeah, man, I appreciate coming on all the time. Uh, so you got me on Twitter, and that's uh, Jack underscore Tiernan. All my Celtics takes and general NBA takes are probably on there, whether you like him or not. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a great follow, so I, I definitely heavily suggest it. Of course, if you, I guess, like the sound of Jack's voice, well, I don't know. Hopefully Jack will come back and play oh, thanks, this, this week. <laughs> like, uh, like, last week was a tough week. We'll I, see, I, man. You know, uh, I don't know, man. Among Us was a, a little Pretty rough. Great. Uh, if anyone watched that for Jack, very unfairly, uh, I guess, Stop targeted. Like, yeah, Stop We were like, doing man. what people have to do to Steph Curry to stop him to Jack. That's that's yep. really it. Le- yeah. Leave, is what, yeah, or mm. that, right. Exactly. <laughs> They're like, we got to take Jack out earlier. It's, it's not going to be good for us. And uh, so, <laughs> so usually Jack is on our Twitch channel at uh, twitch.tv slash wiggy and everything playing among us every Thursday. Uh so yeah, if you if you like the sound of Jack's voice, you can hear more there. Uh, and of course, you can follow the channel on Twitter at WG Everything on Instagram, and we can get everything. And the main channel is youtubecom slash everything. I'm Brian Fake Bmar. It's probably right there, unless I somehow got tremendously more lazy in the you know, <laughs> next hour before I edit this. But hopefully not. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Hey, thank you so much for checking out that clip. If you liked it, hey, maybe subscribe for more. We got videos coming out all the time on this channel and a full-length podcast. You can find us on podcast services or just wait until all the clips are released and then I release a video of them all together in one, well, in one long episode. I think you'll like it.